I've never trained a failure ever in my career. Wait a second. Did four-time Mr. Olympia Jay Keller just say that he's never once trained a failure? You heard him right. For some, it's necessary. Genetic phenoms like Jay Keller, maybe not so much. But maybe it's not so simple. There's quite a large difference between muscular failure and technical failure. And for new lifters, it may be difficult to distinguish between the two. Training to failure should be looked at as the inability to complete a rep with correct technique. No, I'm not saying don't ever push the limits or strive for more reps than last time. That'd be stupid. If that were the case, you would never be able to progressively overload and ultimately you wouldn't be able to provide enough stimulus to build muscle. So for those of you who tend to stop your set because it hurts too much or you couldn't do anymore, this likely isn't the message for you. But if you're the guy who goes into the gym with the goal of turning green and throwing up every single workout, you might as well go to your local theme park, jump on the biggest roller coaster you can find, and go for a couple of loop-de-loops -loop that you pass out. Push your limits, but also know them. Think of failure in a different light and make sure that whenever you're training a particular muscle group, that's the muscle group that's failing, not all the surrounding supporting muscle groups.